Now I'm going to explain two ways people invest or basically make money on the stock market. They could also lose money. You could lose a lot of money. Actually, 90% of people involved in the stock market trading, uh, not really investing, or actually, a lot of people lose money, basically. The ones that participate in the stock market lose money because they don't know what they are doing and they just put it in like it's a slot machine. If you treat it like a slot machine, it's gonna slaughter you. It's gonna basically eliminate all your hard-earned money and you don't wanna do that. What you wanna do, you wanna treat it like uh, like statistics and you wanna treat it like um, fundamental, you wanna base it off fundamentals, you wanna base it off uh, technical analysis. So those are the two things, fundamental analysis and technical analysis fundamental is just looking at what the foundation of the company is if you're looking at a company you want to look at its records you want to look at its financial statements you want to look at its 10k you want you can find that in the SEC filings uh, type in the company name and 10k report and if you can read that which I cannot read that I don't understand any of that I haven't even tried to you will see and if you're an accountant then that's probably easier for you but even then it's a very long uh, piece of paper um, paper that it just explains the details of what the company is doing, what it plans to do, all its financial stuff that's com apparently relevant. And if you can understand that and you see that everything looks good, everything's checking off, then you are likely to invest in that company for the long run. But if you don't want to look at that, you could invest or trade. Trade means you're in and out of a transaction of buying and then selling in the same day or weeks later or a month later or uh, who knows it depends it just technical analysis is basically you're looking at the chart and you say okay it looks like this the price is not moving certain above or below a certain level and you basically try it out you try it's like okay I don't think it's gonna keep going down it's gonna bounce off a certain level and that's technical because a lot of people have the psychology where they're agreeing they all have the same mentality the traders have the same mentality and they're like looking at the graph and they're saying okay this is the level we all mo most if most people agree on that level let's say Amazon is at 1870 and they say oh, okay at 1870 it doesn't go lo below that and if most people agree with that it's actually likely to happen and based on regardless of what the fundamentals say it's likely to do what most people agree or most, what most traders agree it will do and it will bounce and it will go back up so go down bounce off the 1870 and go back up and maybe in the future it'll just go down and then pass the 1870 but temporarily the things that people the traders agree will happen will happen um, not always but temporarily sometimes they do and it's all a matter of trying it out and if you're right stick with it if you're wrong get out right away and that's how people do it investors they you know don't worry about that they don't look at the technical charts they just think in long-term periods and they think that they're gonna hold it for the rest of their life and they believe in the company they believe it's a strong uh, company that they believe will continue to grow and will probably provide dividends in the long run but I consider myself a technical trader I am NOT a good trader I'm still learning and I see this like in the morning uh, I just watch the charts and I'm like okay it's gonna bounce right here and, and it sometimes does and I'm like what the heck that's crazy like so many people are on their computers trading that's what's causing the, the ticker number to bounce up and down it's traders transaction people putting transactions um, investors come here once in a while they're like okay I'll buy it they don't really look at the chart they're just like okay it's time to buy I think and yeah I believe in this company I think it's starting to grow now and they'll put their money in and leave it there and let let it do its thing on the good companies there's a lot of bad companies that people you know treat it like a slot machine and they just put it in there and that's that's how they're they lose their wealth they lose their what they think is gonna turn into million dollars ends up just turning going to zero so yeah you have those two options look them look them up online do your own research I am not a financial advisor please subscribe like this video share with friends and family comment below and let me know what you think and what kind of details you would like to hear about uh, or other information I could provide that I know myself about the stock market I'll see you all in the next video bye bye